Isn't it nice to just sit around sometimes and watch a couple of YouTube videos? In order to be able to stay on the couch, I already showed you in a previous video how we can turn on the lights with the help of useless buttons on your TV remote. And this time we are going to expand this idea by building a clap sensitive circuit. With it, you can easily turn on all kinds of AC appliances with two well timed claps. Let's get started. The list of components we are going to need for this build is quite long, but as always you can find all information about it in the Instructables article. Link is in the description. The star of the circuits is this Electret microphone, which uses a dielectric material in electrostatic fields to convert sound into a voltage signal. If we power it through a 1 kilo ohm resistor and use a 100 nanofarad capacitor on the output, we can see that there appear small voltage bursts whenever I clap. But the peak voltage is only around 200 millivolts. Now the AT Tiny 85 that I want to use has a 10 bit analog to digital converter, which can recognize steps of around 5 millivolts. So it should work. But there can be problems with distortions and there are not many voltage steps to program specific patterns. The conclusion is that we have to amplify it. By using a NE5534, 3 resistors and a linear 20 kilo ohm potentiometer, we can create this beefed up audio signal with peaks up to 4.4 volts and a DC offset of around 2.5 volts. And by changing the resistance of the potentiometer closer to 0 ohms, the amplification increases. We can use this later to adjust the sensitivity of the circuits depending on how far you position it away from your claps. Now that we've got our signal to work with, we can get started with the code. In order to only turn things on with claps, we need to determine a pattern we want to work with. I went with two claps with a slight pause in between them. Firstly, the microcontroller measures the voltage constantly and if a certain high threshold is reached, it waits a bit to see whether it settles down to a certain low threshold. Then it waits a bit more and if another high voltage signal appears, it recognizes it as the second clap and the digital pin 3 of the AD Tiny reverse its output state. I programmed my AD Tiny with the help of my homemade programming shield, which you can also build very easily by watching the video about it. Now before building anything permanently, it is always a good idea to test the circuits by using an LED with resistor on the output pin of the AD Tiny. Once I was sure it worked with the LED, I tried the same setup with a 5V relay, which will later allow us to switch on and off all kinds of AC appliances. In combination with a flyback diode and a NPN transistor as a switch, it worked like a charm. The complete schematic for the circuit looks like this. And with the help of it, I also created this VeroBoard layout, which features the microphone and potentiometer as a breakout, so that I can mount them in the top section of my enclosure. Speaking of the case, I went with this not so great looking grey project box. The only important aspect to look out for is that there should be enough space on the front for the socket. I started the case treatment by determining the middle points of the front and back panel. Then I marked the rough outline of my AC input and output around those points and used my rotary tool to cut out the two holes. The AC input was a perfect fit which I immediately secured with two more screws. But as always, I measured the wrong length for the AC outputs and now there are small gaps next to it. And because this was such a stupid mistake, I added white silicon to cover those gaps after I drilled the holes for the inner metal plates and secured everything with M3 screws and nuts. I also determined two spots on the top cover and drilled one small hole for the microphone and one bigger hole for the potentiometer. Then I shortened the shaft of the potentiometer so that the knob can later sit flush with the surface. Now that the case is done, I prepared a fitting size for my Vero board and used my pre-made layout to create the circuit. 
The whole process took me roughly around 30 minutes and after I was done with it, I reconnected the external parts with shielded wire. The metal shielding later connects to earth and prevents distortions of our audio signal through the 230 volts AC. But since we cannot power our circuit with 230 volts, we need an additional power supply which can deliver us 5 volts. And before I start the wiring, I drill two holes in the PCB and four holes in the bottom of my enclosure to secure the boards later on inside the case. Then I mounted the potentiometer and microphone and used solid 1.5 square millimeter wire to connect earth to earth, one side of the AC input to the power supply and one side to the outlet and the other side of the AC input to the power supply as well and the directional contact of the relay. The other side of the contact then connects to the other side of the outlet. And the wiring is done. But let me tell you that it can be possible to touch 230 volts directly if you act stupid. So don't act stupid. After I tidied up the wiring, I closed it up and positioned my clap circuit somewhere not too visible. And now I can enjoy to turn on all kinds of devices with two claps and it is strangely addicting. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Consider supporting me through my Patreon campaign. Stay creative and I will see you next time.